God's grace. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for mercy. Thank you, Lord, that mercy walked in. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Mercy also walked into my life. Because I have anchored my soul in the heaven of rest. I will sail the wild seas no more. Oh, the tempest may sweep or the wild storm it be, but in Jesus. This, this morning at church, I thought I had said too much hallelujah and I've missed the main course. I don't want to interfere with the main course tonight, but the hallelujah is sweet. God bless you. Thank you for being enlisted in the army of God. Thank you for being saved and delivered. You look good on YouTube, I saw you, but coming here tonight, you look so much better. I did try to come along all, all the way, but I couldn't have gotten the time. I'm very happy to be here tonight to see all you wonderful, honorable men of, men of God and all you people who are saved and sanctified. Amen. And I hope filled with the Holy Ghost. And some have been baptized. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's done. You're, you're, you're doing a better job than what the fire service can do. Taking a person out of hellfire. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. And so I congratulate you. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for hosting this. Thanks for all of you. I love you. And I join you in impacting the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. I invading the territories of hell. I thank God you can have a shout that can bring down the Jericho walls. Can't you? You can have a rod that can stretch across the waters and part in the Red Sea, can't you? You have a sanctified foot that can touch on Jordan and part it, can't you? And it can defeat any Amalekites, Canaanites, and all the others. I love you. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Shall we bless the Lord? Shall we bless the Lord? The songwriter said, look what the Lord has done. He healed my body. He touched my mind. He saved me just in time. I can stand up here and I can tell you all about Jesus. But I can say this, that if you need healing, there is Jesus. If there you need breakthrough, there is Jesus. You see, anything that you need, Jesus will give it to you. I greet you all. Men of God, and my fellow ladies that are here warring for Jesus in the parish of Hanover. Cinnamon, the only thing that I have to say to you, it's only because of God's grace and mercy why you're here tonight. So come home to him before too late is your cry. Praise the Lord. I am so excited tonight and really happy that I didn't have to greet right after Jojo Stewart. Because that would have been a tough act to follow. You know, that, that Bishop colleague here, he tried. But, you know, I mean, we give him credit for his effort. God bless you, Lucy. God bless you, Bishop Williams and the team here. God bless you to the members. You have done well. The crusade was just in time for a number of persons. But I really want to, as I greet everyone, just to let you know, or rather to remind you, because I feel you know this already, that the 10 Crusade must serve as a catalyst. It must be that activity that stimulates the change. I want you to know that the real harvest is still in your homes. It's still your sons and daughters, 
your grandchildren, your nieces and nephews, your husbands, and to some extent wives. So I want us to use this as we are motivated and as we are excited about what God is doing to take that same zeal and bring it inside our homes for the glory of God. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Moderator. Hallelujah. Come on, thank God. Praise the Lord for our pastor. Very obedient. Very obedient. I tell them not to preach. I didn't tell them not to sing. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We have obedient pastors. Amen. Praise the Lord. But you know what, Church of God, sometimes nothing is wrong to divert from the program. Because sometimes God wants these songs or something to be done. Amen. And I'm sure you are blessed by those greetings. Amen. Hallelujah. At this time, please make welcome Black River Church. They will come and minister to us tonight. Amen. Come on, give it up for the Black River Church. Praise the name of Jesus. Come on, keep the cheer going as they come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Come on, musician, just give something there. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, keep the cheer going. Keep the praise going. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Some glad morning we shall see Jesus in the air coming after you and me. Joy is ours to share. What rejoicing day will be when the saints shall rise.
what singing or what shouting. Amen. When we meet our blessed Savior yonder in the sky. Hallelujah. We look forward for that blessed hope when we will see our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Clap your hands for Jesus. Come on, clap those hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to welcome our host pastor, Bishop Robert Williams, who will lead us in the act of giving as we worship in giving. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Make him welcome. Hallelujah. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire. Truly, the presence and the power of God is in this place. Amen, church. And anywhere God is, there is liberty and victory. There is freedom. Hallelujah. There is deliverance. There is healing in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. My brothers and sisters, it's giving time. I say it's giving time. Hallelujah. Put your hands above your heads and and give the Lord a cup of offering. It's giving time. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. I want to uh, say thanks to God for his goodness to us. Amen. Brothers and sisters, this crusade is, is here. And it is a costly affair. Very, very costly. Amen, church. Millions of dollars of crusade. And here we are tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we are continuing to lift up the name of Jesus. Amen, church. And uh, I, I want to tell you, I am under holy orders. Under holy orders. And so we have to continue another week. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hello, church. I say we're continuing another week in the name of Jesus. And to continue, uh, continue another week means we haven't fi um, finished fix up the bills for the past two weeks yet. But we have to trust God to fix us up for the other week to come. Amen, church. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. The church is quiet on me, man. This is warfare business, you know. Hello, church. God has sent us here for such a time as this. And we are carrying out the, the, the good news of Jesus Christ. Delivering souls. Hanover, Jesus Christ has sent the church here. And hallelujah, we are going to do what God has us to do. But you have to help me financially. Thanks for the few amen. I say you have to help me financially. Amen. You have to help me financially. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Those of you online, we are, we, we, we are encouraging you as well to join us and to, to give in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember now, in your giving, you can go to Spur Open, Lucy New Testament Church of God, Spur Open, and yes, follow the instructions and you can give. I suppose by now the information will be on the screen. And those of you who will want to give straight to the bank, hallelujah. Our account is the Scotia, Scotia uh, Bank, Bank of Nova Scotia, the Fairview branch. And it is a business account, amen. Now let me give you the transit number because you need a transit number in order to make your contribution. The transit number is 90605. Please uh, make note. And the account number, as you see on your screen, is 603920. That's 603920. And it's... Uh, 
a Jamaican denom uh, denomination account. Amen? So it's a Jamaican uh, currency account. The Lord bless you. I want to say thanks to those of you online who have been giving. I, I, I want to make mention right now of Sister Carlene out of Ohio. Amen? I received this earlier from Sister Carlene out of Ohio. Put your hands together for Sister Carlene out of Ohio. And I know there are others who have given. I want to challenge those of you online tonight. Uh, if you can have at least 20 of you, at least 20, pledging $50. And I'm talking 50 US dollars. If you can pledge 50 US dollars to this crusade tonight, I can assure you God is going to bless you. Amen, church. Amen, church. So, 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 so follow the link and just contribute to this crusade. The Lord, he is going to truly, truly bless you. My brothers and sisters, I want to get, up, get out of the way because the preacher is here and I know he's burning. Amen, church. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So I'm going to ask you to join with me now. I want to start off with, by the way, I want $100,000 bills tonight. Amen, church. Amen, church. $100,000 bills tonight. Amen, church. And I am going to start off with 10. So if I start off with 10, it means how much I need from you? 90 or up to 120. That's all right. All right. So come, 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 um, Come ushers, come quickly ushers, you should have been here already ushers, hallelujah, praise God, praise God. While the ushers are coming, let me remind you brothers and sisters that um, we have some envelopes here tonight and I'm going to be asking each person if you can collect an envelope and on Friday evening we'll be receiving a very special offering in the envelopes. Amen? So the ushers should be um, distributing the envelopes already. You have the envelope system, eh? Hallelujah. Praise God. So ensure that as you come, you collect an envelope. So at this time, let's start receiving the $1,000 bills. Um, if it's, you, I, I'm taking $5,000 bills too. So if you have five, 5000 that's all right. Amen? If you have ten five thousand dollars, that's all right. But start coming with the thousands. We're dealing now with thousands, amen. Thousands, amen. So start coming with the thousand dollars now quickly, and then we will sing. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. And as you come, if you can collect an envelope for Friday night, Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Oh God, I bless you. God, I bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Come quickly, come quickly, Hallelujah. Because time is going. Hallelujah. And worship the Lord as you come. Give God a praise and worship as you come. Give the Lord the glory and honor as you come. Hallelujah. Because we are giving to the Lord tonight. Amen, church. I say we are giving to the Lord tonight. Oh my God, the church quiet man. I say we are giving to the Lord tonight. Turn to a neighbor and say, neighbor, we are giving to the Lord. Yes, man, I know some of you might have your last, but it's all right. Prove the Lord tonight. Prove the Lord tonight. Prove me and see. The Lord says, if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour out blessing upon you, where you won't have room enough to hold. Hallelujah. I, uh, 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 let, let's, let, let's wait on you. I don't think we reached um, 30 yet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The church is quiet. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If the Lord tells you to give a $10,000, that's all right. Is that okay, church? Is that okay, church? My, 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 my. Somebody worship the Lord in the house here, man. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Glory, 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 glory. Glory be to Almighty God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. While, while the others of you are coming with your thousand, if you 
have your 500, whatever you have. Hallelujah. Come on now, let's, let's worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness while they still bring the thousands, the five thousands and so on. Praise team. Praise the Lord. You turn my weeping into worship. You turn my pressure into praise. You turn my mourning into dancing. And I will bless the holy name. You turn my weeping into worship. You turn my pressure into praise. You turn my mourning into dancing. And I will bless your holy name. You turn, you turn my weeping. blessing for me please upon that which the people have given hallelujah i want to lift your faith now believing knowing that god the supplier of needs he is going to be returning to you good measure press down shake it together and running over god bless you may i respectfully ask us to stand and lift our faith to god father in the name of jesus we thank you for this night. Thank you for your people who have given from even their needs. But Lord, tonight, I know you're going to bless them. You're going to enlarge their territories. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for the gifts. Thank you for those who have given. And we bless your name now in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Somebody put your hands together for the Lord again. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Brothers and sisters, we started here on the 7th of January. Hallelujah. And every night since we've been here, the Holy Ghost has turned up and has been doing great things. Amen, church. 
And already you know what I'm going to say. Those of you who have, uh, if you, wherever you are outside of Lucy, if you've not been feeling the presence of God, it's because all of heaven has been in Lucy since the 7th of January, 2024. Give heaven a clap here tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man, you, you make it look as if I'm not speaking the truth. I say all of heaven has been to Lucy since the 7th of January. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And tonight is no exception. We have in the house here tonight one of God's choice servants. Hallelujah. Praise God. The one and only bishop, evangelist, man of God. Evangelist Hepburn. Steve Hepburn. As he comes to minister to us tonight, to, to us tonight, he has a few brethren with him from the Spalding Church. I want to let the world know. Pastor, you, you know already because you know me from when I was in Spalding. Spalding is the church that, fun, that have my foundation as a pastor. Spent eight years in there. It's good to see some of you who are little boys. Kali was a little boy when I baptized him. He's now a big man. Amen. An officer too. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But I, I, I knew Reverend um, Bishop Hepburn from me. He was a little boy. And let me tell you something. This little boy before, before Jesus saved him was a rude little boy, you know. Yeah, man, was a rude little boy. Will it tell you rude? rude? But when Jesus saved him, Jesus touched him, and from Jesus touched him, he has not looked back. He has been a transformed young man touching lives. Crazy for God. So just to let you know that Reverend Hepburn is not a fly by night. No, not a fly by night. He, has, he knows what it is to struggle and pray. He knows what it is to tarry before God. And, and if he wishes to tell you his testimony, he will tell you. Hallelujah. Where he's coming from. This man has prayed his way through life. Prayed his way through where he is. And we thank God for him tonight. And I am, I am so happy. That, uh, he's able to be with us tonight and knowing from where he's come from and so forth, you know, and see what God has done and is doing with his life. He presently pastors a Spalding church. He's a district overseer there and, and I know he's doing great things at Spalding's. Put your hands together for Bishop Steve Hepburn. Of course, he's married and I don't, well, his wife isn't here with him tonight. Uh, but he's married and God has blessed him with a boy, right? Praise a, a, a girl. A girl, sorry, sir, sir. A boy and, oh, I didn't, I didn't know you multiply. Yeah, boy and girl. Somebody put their hands together for them tonight. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank God for him as he serves God. He serves the church of God. He serves the kingdom of heaven. Amen, church. Amen, church. Put your hands again together for the man of God. Hallelujah. Reverend Alistair Reed was our moderator tonight. He did a very good job. He led us and landed us safely at this point. Put your hands together for him. Standing before you now is a choir, the, uh, the combined choir of the Lucy New Testament Church of God. They are going to be ministering to our hearts. When they are through ministering, the next voice you will hear will be that of our preacher tonight, the Bishop Steve, Steve Hepburn. But now, put your hands together. Receive the Lucy New Testament Church of God combined choir in Jesus' name. Somebody praise the Lord.
Amen. Wonderful singing from the combined choir. Put your hands together for them one more time. You may be seated if you can. I like the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. I was glad when they said unto me, Come, let us go into the house of the Lord. For in the presence of the Lord, there's fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pledges forevermore. Somebody lift your hands and praise God. Lift your hands and worship God, everybody. Raise your hands. Raise your voice. Shout to the Lord your praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. To God be the glory. Great things he hath done. Amen. I am truly delighted to be in Hanover for the third time. Amen. During my lifetime. <laughs> when you live in the central parts of the island, it takes a while to reach the western parts. Amen. It takes you like three and a half hours to get here either side. It doesn't matter where you travel from. Amen. Or which route you take. Three and a half hours. Amen. But I am delighted to be here under this gospel tent that I have no doubt that the presence and power of the Lord had been dwelling among his people each night you gather. Amen. I greet Bishop Williams and Sister Williams, the associate pastor, Reverend Reed. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, along with the council men and women, amen, various heads of department of the Lucy Church, in Jesus' name. Let me also greet the ministers who are on the platform, Bishop Black, amen, it's good to see you again, sir, amen, Bishop Robinson, amen, you're, you're glad to see me? Sometimes. He said sometimes. You don't worry. He's burning up. His heart is overwhelmed because he's happy to see me. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> don't this side because we meet frequently up that side. Amen. Reverend Bishop Robinson and I, we are very, very close friends. Amen. Even outside of ministry. Amen. He's like a David and I'm like a Jonathan. He's like a Paul and I'm like a Barnabas. That's the kind of relationship that we have. Amen. Amen. And I greet Sister Wendy and the children. Amen. Who calls me uncle. You can imagine. That means it's, come, it, it, it's a good relationship. Amen. It's good to be in your parts of the island, sir. Amen. Reverend Anderson, Reverend Reed. Oh, moderator, I greet you well in Jesus' name. And all the other pastors who are seated to my right, I don't know all the name. I can identify Bishop Jojo, who seemed to be following me quite a lot. Amen. We were in West Palm Beach the other day, and here we are in Lucy. You come into Tartola with me Tuesday morning? <laughs> So I can, you can't say I didn't tell you. Tuesday morning I am in Tortola, so you can come with me, right? <laughs> Amen. And I know I identify Reverend Kenesha Wedderburn Reed. Am I correct? It's good to see you. Eh? Right. It's your wife and it's your husband and your wife. <laughs> Amen. I'm just happy to see all of you ministers and your spouse and brothers and sisters from the different churches. Amen. I can't identify all the churches, but we are one in Christ and we are from the same body of Christ. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Those online, I greet you well in Jesus' name. And those offline, I greet you too in Jesus' name. Let me also greet the spalling brethren. Amen. Majority of them are online as I speak. 
they would have desired to be here, but it's quite a good distance. But three brothers have traveled with me. Amen. One drive, one talk, one sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but they are all supporters of my ministry amen I'm going to ask brother officer officer McLeod and brother Carter and brother uh, Kirby to stand so to be recognized stand first Rastaman before you go outside <laughs> put your hands together for them to have them with me tonight and I bless God for them Amen. Brothers and sisters when I drove in someone called me from Orlando Bishop I am disappointed I, to I was told you would be there tonight and we are up here in Orlando several of us and we are not seeing you I said I am there I said okay and she made a scream and said no no he's there <laughs> And so I greet the brethren from Orlando, those who are up in the UK and all over, who are now joining online. I greet you well in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. They also want to recognize the persons who have gone down on their knees moments ago. Once I rise to preach anywhere, there's a group of people. You won't know where they are. They are assigned by God. Amen. I didn't ask them. They said God has assigned them for that purpose. Wherever I am when I rise, stand up to preach. They go down to pray. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Glory to God. And I am happy that I am here tonight. And I have been making announcements of this crusade. Bishop, you owe me. Yes, you owe me. Up to Saturday morning, we were on our radio program. Amen. The Spalding New Testament now has a radio program. For two hours, we are on radio. Amen. The Life and Power Broadcast. Amen. Central 96.3 FM and Adoration Gospel FM in New York. So we are covering New York and we are covering Jamaica. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God has blessed us with the resources that we don't have to travel to anybody's studio. We have our own studio at Paul in New Testament Church. Somebody lift your hand and pray. The Church of God, New Testament is going places. Gone are the days when we weren't blessed with resources, but to God be the glory. Amen. Great things he had done. We don't have to source Bishop Robinson, any technical persons. Amen. We have over seven persons who have gone to university and they are trained in engineering, in sound producing, in video production and they are working with the church. Somebody just give God praise. Hallelujah. The church of God triumphant is alive and well. Amen. So I report victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The negatives we will not spend time to focus on. Whilst God is doing a bigger thing. Somebody praise God. We will not major in the minor. Come on somebody. Let's not major on the minor church of God people. Let's major in what God is doing in the lives of his people in this time. Somebody shout hallelujah. Would you turn your Bibles with me to the book of St. Luke chapter 4? Praise God. There are some great preachers who have gone on before me. Amen. Great bowlers. I am only the last batsman. You know, last batsman just swing, shut their eyes, swing their bat. And you know, runs hit and sometimes you get bowled. <laughs> but I say no. <laughs> so I am the least of all the apostles. Amen, Bishop. <laughs> you didn't say it, I said it. <laughs> Amen. And so I'm humbled to be here tonight. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. St. Luke chapter 4. 
We'll read from verses 17. Amen. Let's read verse 14 through to 19. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. And there went out a fame of him through all the region around about. And he taught in their synagogues, being glorified of all. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and, st and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place wherein it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Verse 19. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Somebody say amen. amen. A reference scripture. Acts chapter 8. Verse 22, 23 and 24. Repent therefore of thy wickedness. And pray God. If perhaps the thought of thine heart. May be forgiven thee. For I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness and in the bond of iniquity then answered Simon and said pray he to the Lord for me that none of these things which he have spoken come upon me the word of the Lord somebody praise God somebody praise God may I speak to us brothers and sisters from the topic deliverance for the captives Somebody praise God. Deliverance for the captives. Spurgeon's parable. I quote from Spurgeon's parable. Mr. Spurgeon, a number of years ago, made a parable. Because he thought he had a right to make one. And so he did. He said there was a tyrant who ordered one of his subjects into his presence and ordered that subject to make a chain. The poor blacksmith, that was his occupation, had to go to work and forge the chain. When it was done, he brought it into the presence of the tyrant and he was ordered to make it away, to take it away and make it twice the length. My God. He brought it again to the tyrant. And again he was ordered to double it. What work. Back he came, Bishop Robinson, when he had, opened, when he had obeyed the order. And the tyrant looked at it. And then commanded the servants to bind the man's hand and foot. With the chain he had made and cast him into prison. Somebody praise God. Mr. Spurgeon said, That is what the devil does with man. Somebody praise God. That is what the devil does with man. He makes them forge their own chain. And then binds them hand and foot with it. And casts them into outer darkness. Amen church. My friends that is just what these drunkards. These gamblers. These blasphemers. Persecutors. Scammers and choppers. Murderers. Looters and robbers. Rapists. Lord God. Sorcerers. You name them. That is what... They do. Come on somebody. But thank God we can tell you of a deliverer. The son of God has power to break every chain. 
Ah, somebody praise God. He has power to break every one of these fetters if you will only come to him. Somebody praise God. Somebody worship the name of the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, the greatest illusion mankind faces all the time is that they are free from the oppression of the devil when in actuality Satan has captured their soul, body and spirit. This is a dangerous situation. It is not entirely wrong to be captured because in nature we mankind were born into captivity or sin. However, what is wrong is to remain in the situation unchecked, unperturbed, and unwilling to change the situation. Somebody praise God. Throughout history, people have longed for freedom from captivity and oppression. People today long to be free from captivity. Ah, spiritual bondage and oppression. Am I talking to the church? Brothers and sisters, there are enemies of our soul such as fear, anxiety, sadness, depression, addictions, and guilt. These, my brothers and sisters, do war against our souls and hold us bound, holds us bound by the yoke of spiritual captivity. But the Bible says that the anointing destroys the yoke. Oh, somebody praise Almighty God. Ah, St. Luke 4, 18, Jesus says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Am I talking to the church? Somebody praise God. He quoted from the words of Isaiah. And for those academic students like myself and others to avoid plagiarism, Jesus says as it is written in the book of Isaiah chapter 61. May I quote, he says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me for he has anointed me. Ah, he has equipped me. He has chosen me. He has prepared me to preach the gospel, to proclaim the message to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty freedom. Our oh God, for them that are bruised, Somebody praise God. Somebody worship God. In St. Luke chapter 4, 18, uh, it is a verse, as we all know, from the New Testament of the Bible. Uh, God, it says that Jesus read from the book of Isaiah proclaiming his mission. Somebody praise God. I say when he read from the book of Isaiah, he was proclaiming his mission. The historical context is set in Nazareth where Jesus returns and reads this passage in a synagogue. Am I talking to the church? This event occurs at the beginning beginning of Jesus' public ministry, emphasizing his role as the Messiah and his mission to bring good news, healing and freedom to the oppressed. Am I talking to the church? Brothers and sisters, the apostle Paul could not, our God, have watched this kind of readings or writings go without making his own input. And so the apostle Paul stated to his audience in Ephesus, reminding or telling them that in Ephesians 6, 12, he says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Somebody praise God. The apostle Paul didn't stop there. And so he went on to tell the brethren in Corinth. In 2 Corinthians 10, 14, he says, For the weapon of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty to God. 
to the pulling down of strongholds. Somebody says strongholds. Ah, God Almighty, I feel the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, the exact phrase, spiritual captivity, does not appear in the Bible at all. Hello, am I talking to the church? I say spiritual captivity does not appear in the printed text in the Bible. But when we look at various scriptures, Reverend Reed, they do speak of being in bondage to sin. Somebody praise God. Because when we look at Acts chapter 8, 23, come on, somebody. He says, for I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness and in the bond of iniquity. Somebody praise God. Somebody worship God. When we also look at Romans 6, 6, it says, Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed. Henceforth, we should not serve sin. Verse 16 says, Know he not, that to whom he healed yourselves, servants to obey, his servants he are to whom he obey, whether of sin unto death, or of obedience unto righteousness. Verse 19. 19 says, I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as he have yielded your members servants to uncleanness and to iniquity and to iniquity, even so now yield your members servants to righteousness and to holiness. Chapter 17, verse chapter 7 of, uh, of Romans and verse 14 says, For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal sold under sin. Second Peter 2 19 says whilst they promise them liberty they themselves are servants of corruption for of whom a man is overcome of the same he brought into bondage. Somebody praise God. John 8 34 says Jesus answered them and said verily verily truly I say unto you whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. Somebody praise God. Verse 32 says the truth shall make you free. Somebody praise God. Ah God Almighty. Ah whosoever commits sin is the servant of sin. Come on somebody. But if you commit sin Lord God and you're a servant of sin. Lord God the truth says Jesus shall set you free. Shall make you free. What is the truth? It is the word of God. Come on somebody. It is the word of God. Shall set you free. Shall make you free. And who the son set free is free indeed. Am I talking to the church of the living God? Somebody shout hallelujah. Sin has a way of taking hold in a person's life. Guilty consciences are deadly. Shame is painful. Self-pity eats like a cancer. And bad habits are hard to break. Considering the condition of our hearts before God changes us into a new creature. We were dead in trespasses and sin. Captive to ungodly pleasures and blind to the beauty of Christ. Therefore sin forms a chain that only God can break. That chain which is sin has formed by the blow. Somebody praise God. But by the power of God it shall be broken. Oh somebody shout something quickly. Oh yes sir. I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout hallelujah. I say chain which is sin has been formed. I say a chain. Lord God which is sin has been formed. But by the power of God it shall be broken. It is classified as a state of being in captivity. We are here now called captive. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Those who are in captivity are called captives. Somebody say captives. Somebody say captives. I feel my helper coming on. Somebody shout hallelujah. The Greek word 
for deliverance is soteria. Somebody praise God. The same word that forms soteriology. Lord God, the study. Come on, somebody. Am I talking to you? Somebody shout hallelujah. Soteriology. Related idea. Come on, somebody. Is often associated with Lord God, the concept of salvation and rescue. Somebody praise God. So when you talk about soteria somebody praise God you're talking about deliverance you're talking about rescue you're talking about salvation somebody praise God ah, somebody praise God then we look at the word captives which is ache matolos ache matolos somebody praise God it is it carries the idea as one who is involved or take uh, into prison or as prisoner somebody praise God what am I talking about when I talk about soteria and I talk about achmatology somebody praise God uh, all I am saying is that there's rescue or salvation for those who have been held bound by chains as prisoners in handcuffs somebody praise God there is rescue there is deliverance there is salvation so uh, can I borrow a drummer from somewhere somebody praise God in the, the right drummer God somebody praise God in Lucy somebody praise God I said we are under restrictions and our limitations Somebody praise God, Satan and hell. Somebody says Satan and hell. Somebody says Satan and hell. Lord God stands guard. Somebody praise Reverend God. Satan and hell stands guard, watching you every step you make, and is not willing to release you or set you free. But the church come tonight. The Holy Ghost come tonight. Lord God, the body of Christ come tonight. Jesus is with the church. And we come to tell you, any chain that hold you captive, it must break tonight. Come on, Lucy. Come on, Hanover. Somebody release me here. Oh God, I'm ready to preach. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. Jesus, the savior, our deliverer, can set you free. Somebody praise God. It doesn't matter if a one chain, double chain, or triple chain. It doesn't matter if a cold chain, dark chain, Lord God, rolling calf chain. We don't matter what kind of chain. Lord God, we are bossy tonight. Lord God, you're not back me up tonight. Somebody praise God tonight. Every chain, every chain. Lost me over here. Every chain tonight. Every rolling calf chain. Somebody praise God. Every demonized chain. Lord God, every drunkard chain. Somebody shout hallelujah. Every chain. Somebody praise God. Lord God, if you're tired, talk to tiredness and say, let me go. I want a deliverance tonight. Somebody praise God. If you're weary, say, let me go. Me come for a breakthrough. For if you're tired, you should have sit down in your living room and watch the crusade. Somebody praise God. But if you come attend, come on, no somebody. Come on, somebody. Let go the metal chair. Let go the plastic chair. And say, let me shout. 
But there are some chains that have locked my son, locked your daughter, locked Lucy, locked Sandy B. Come on, somebody. Come, me, come, you know. Lock your spirit. We come tonight. Key man, key man. Pull up the lock. Pull up the chain. Free up some people. Some people want free up. Somebody praise God. Your marriage want free up. Your boys want free up. Your oh. Oh. Hallelujah. Somebody worship. And let this great gospel tent tonight. back now sit on back oh god if you can i feel the holy ghost somebody shout hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah say captives say captives shall be delivered somebody praise god say deliverance is there for the captives salvation is available for the captives somebody praise god the tent organizers and pastors and us have just left our beds and the comforts of our home to come out here to show off our parade we come on a rescue mission somebody say rescue mission walk your neighbor say rescue mission say rescue mission souls are dying men are crying somebody need the lord somebody need the lord come on oh somebody you don't have to live in sin you don't have to die in sin there is a way out jesus saying matthew 11 and verse 28 he said come unto me all he that have labored and are heavy laden and i will give you rest he said take my yoke upon me and learn of me for my yoke is easy and my burden is light shout something quickly shout something quickly shout glory brothers and sisters sit down I'll tell you something else brothers and sisters permit me here to look at one let us first identify the captivity come on somebody because if we're going to preach about captives who are held in captivity, we have to know what is captivity. Come on, somebody help me here. Oh God, somebody. Let's identify the captivity. Captivity is defined as the state of being captured, imprisoned, detained, or held against one's will. It is a state of being demobilized as a result of the forces of darkness. Somebody praise God. It is the inability to fulfill one's destiny. The state of operating below the capacity ordained by God. Come on, somebody help me. You gotta get something to go home with tomorrow. Come on, somebody. A, a bishop God, I'm saying it is the state of operating below the capacity that uh, ordained by God. Come on, somebody. You see, God has ordained something great, marvelous. He has ordained that we should be productive and prosperous but Satan come on, somebody, has held us captive and because we have been held captive by the devil we are now operating come on somebody, oh God, below the capacity ordained by God look at your neighbor say neighbor uh, there's better there's better Say there's better.
captivity is the absence of substantive or identifiable progress in the lives of a man. Somebody praise God. Captivity is the state of being grind to a heart. My God Almighty, come on somebody. Captivity is the lack of capacity to excel in well-being. Come on, somebody, help me here. Am I talking to the church? But captivity is the lack of progress in all ramifications. Somebody praise God. It is the an inability to enjoy good health. Come on, somebody. Or a good marriage. Am I talking to the church? So in every case, the one that is being held captive is being held or detained by some physical means such as a prison cell, handcuffs, shackles, chains, fetters, or even by another person. Somebody praise God. Are you preaching with me? So we look at captivity. Come on, somebody. Are you still the absence of substantive or identifiable progress in the lives of a man? The state of being grind to a hold. It is the an inability to enjoy good health or marriage. Come on, somebody. Are you still dear church? Lord God, it is the state of being captured, detained, or demobilized. So we talk about captivity. But then you have spiritual captivity. Come on, that is. So we look at the literal, the general term, or definition, or understanding for captivity. Let's look at spiritual captivity. Spiritual captivity, Bishop Williams, is the state of being captured without any tangible, physical, or material evidence of that captivity. Somebody praise God. However, your life displays all and more of the signs and evidence of one that has been detained or imprisoned due to the inability to succeed or make progress. Somebody praise God. Am I talking to the church? Lord God, to be imprisoned, detained, or captured restricts our limits. Oh, come on, restricts or limits one of, of their freedoms. Better yet, they can see success. They see freedom. They see joy. They see peace. And all things good they desire but do not possess the ability to possess or achieve it because of the obvious they are being restrained or held against their will come on somebody help me here am i talking to the church where are you going pastor even though the definition of captivity is defined as the state of being captured there exists two types of captivity and they are the physical captivity that we see where people are in fetters chains handcuffs and then the one that we do not see which is spiritual captivity where people are bound in the confines of their minds it is the one that we do not see that can be most challenging and frustrating. Talk to me, psychologist. Challenging and frustrating because these persons cannot see what is keeping them from progressing and proceeding. There is nothing visible or has been presented as evidence to the imprisonment or detention. But we know one can be bound because of their lack of progress. Somebody praise God. May I suggest or put forward tonight that there are many in Lucy, Green Island, Sandy Bay, Cascade, Montpelier, Moby, Westmoreland, Negril, Savlamar, and all communities and districts adjoining that are in captivity. They are captured and held by the old adversary called the devil for 
for some it is against their will but for others can I say they have intentionally placed themselves in such a position for one reason or another somebody praise God so there are some people around town that are spiritually captives spiritual captives somebody praise God there are some people around town who are in spiritual captivity they're walking around but in their minds come on somebody they are chained they are blocked do you know why? Because the devil has taken up residence in their mind. The devil doesn't live in rooms, houses, mansions. But the dwelling place of the devil is in the mind. And if the devil can control the mind, he control our operation. He control our behavior. You don't want me to preach like I feel it down here. Can I tell somebody, don't give the devil any space to get into your mind. If he's coming around to hold you captive, say, Satan, come out. Like Jesus said, after he came out to fasting, when the devil came and he said, you must be hungry. The people must be hungry. Command these stones to make bread. Jesus said to Satan, get thee behind me, for man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. Ah. Jesus said to that old brute, to that old slewfoot, to that old Satan, to that old kick out of heaven, to that old deportee, to that old one suit, no live nowhere. Coming like red rot, street side and base. Can I preach like I feel it? Jesus said to the devil, Get thee, come out of your soul. Back up, Satan. Back up. Back up. Can I tell somebody? Stop facilitating. Stop entertaining. Stop accommodating the thoughts of the devil. He wants to kill you. He wants to mat you. He wants you uh, to become worthless, good for nothing. He wants to turn in a nothing but a, a well-dressed cross. Come on, somebody. Can I preach in this house? Can I preach like I feel it? Somebody praise God. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, give neither place. Give no place to the devil. Somebody praise God. He's a ripper. He's a stripper. He's a killer. He's a seducer. He's a destroyer. Somebody praise God. And if he can kill you, he's gonna kill you. You can't be too pretty for Satan to kill you. You can't be too sexy like Coca-Cola buckle for the devil not to kill you. A radical me this, you know. Somebody praise God. You can't have on too much of a Brazilian, too much of a tips, clips and hips for the devil not to kill you. He will kill you. He will wreck you. Mash up your breast, leg and tie. Somebody praise God. Pop your tongue like old boss. Bark you like central hero. Oh, come on, somebody. Huh? Can I preach to somebody? Don't let the devil huh, destroy your good life. Huh? Somebody praise God. Lord God Almighty, give no place huh, to the devil. Huh? Because deliverance huh, is available. Somebody wave your hand across this gospel tent. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Lucy, if you no tent, you know. I who no me come down here and see them and watch me. Lord God Almighty, if you no tent, you know. Somebody praise God. Somebody pray. Somebody praise God tonight. Let me get somebody who can preach with me over here. 
Somebody shout something around here. Somebody shout something over here. Somebody shout it. Glory to God. Somebody shout hallelujah. I command your Satan. In the name of the Lord. Drop your weapon. Get radical. Get radical. Ah. Somebody shout hallelujah. And your Satan. Ah, holy God. Drop your weapon and flee. For the Lord has given authority. Somebody. Somebody say authority. I have authority to walk all over you. Walk past Satan. Stand up on Satan. Jump, stand up on him. Jump, stand up on him. Jump, stand up on him. Lord God, are your friend? Are your friend? Are your friend that's you know, the one to jump? Stand up. Jesus, Bishop, I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody praise God. Say, be a foot boy. Go to hell, devil. Come from hell, devil. Your time up. Jesus Christ, I want reinforcement. I want backup. So I can mash it up before I come back to Somebody worship, somebody worship, somebody worship, deliverance for the captives, deliverance for those who are held by Satan, somebody shout hallelujah, let's get some more information. this. The devil has convinced people that they are bound, chained to a certain way, and there's no hope of being free. That's the devil. That is his mission. That is his philosophy. That is his mission statement. That People are bound, chained to a certain way, and there's no hope of being set free. 
So in their minds, they are bound. They have been conditioned to believe that the way something currently is, that the bondage that they are in, that the guilt and oppression, depression, anxiety, sickness, and unhappiness that they are feeling now is something that they have to live with. That's what the devil says. Code of a You can't do anything more. You are stuck. That's it. You can't go any further. What a lie. I come to counteract that lie. What's the Holy Ghost pastors and me? Counteract that lie. Satan, your life. Come out of here. What a liar. In a French speaking country, on one of their coins, it says, Ne plus ultra. Ne plus ultra. Which means nothing more beyond. Come on, not somebody. That's it. Nothing more beyond. But it is said that in one of their major towns, they have written that motto or saying on a monument. And on that monument sits a crocodile. Come on, somebody. Ne plus ultra, ultra. Nothing more beyond. But it says that alligator, it appears as if the person who construct the monument and place the figure of the alligator on it didn't realize that the tail of the alligator, come on, some, was covering ne. So everybody pass read plus ultra. Whether it was by deliberate or by accident. Nay meaning nothing was covered. So nobody could see that to it. All they were seeing is plus ultra meaning more beyond. Praise God. Somebody praise God. Friends, somebody praise God. Come on. The devil wants you to see ne plus ultra. But God. Come on, now somebody. Cover up the name. Come on, now somebody. And say, all you need to see is plus ultra. More beyond. Come on, somebody. Look at your neighbor, said there's more beyond. Stop settling for mediocrity. Lord God, stop settling for the low life. Somebody praise God. Stop settling for the little. There's more beyond. You have reached to a place and a stage where you feel like you can't make the next step. You're about to drop dead. Come on, somebody. But you can't drop dead dead unless God has ordained it. High five your neighbor and say your time no come yet. Ushakuto Marai Kabatoria Reketatu Ribianda Ketobra Naskaborian Tudia Boshatanamaha Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. There's more beyond. I counteract every.
every lie, every pronunciation or declaration of an end by the devil over your life. Come on, somebody. The devil can't kill without God's permission. God said to the devil, go ahead. Come on, somebody. Uh, touch the livestock. Take in donkey and in horse. Take the house, all in pick me them. But don't touch the man. Touch not. Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, warfare. Touch not. The Lord's anointed. And do his prophet no harm. Somebody wave your hand, wave your hand. Wave your hands under the tent. Shout them under the blood. And the devil can't do me no harm. But yeah, though I walk. Jesus Christ, I feel the Holy Ghost. Show them and the shadow of Jesus Christ. Somebody pray for me here. Show them falling of the shadow of death. I will see. Oh, hallelujah. Preach with somebody. I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy run and thy staff. They comfort me. Thou preparest. Jesus Christ, I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout hallelujah. Thou preparest. A table before me. Uncle Jojo, Shakuda, Bahando, Nebai, Katoria. Somebody praise God. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Somebody praise God. It's not behind your enemies, it's not far from your enemies, but right in the very presence of your enemies. You shall be blessed. You shall prosper. You shall rise again. Somebody praise God right in the presence of your enemies. Your chains shall be broken. My shackles are broken. Somebody shout hallelujah. And I am delivered. My shackles are broken. Somebody shout, there's more beyond this. Say, there's more beyond this. Lord God, sickness in your body. And sometimes you feel like you won't make it into the morning. Lord God Almighty, stage one, three, two, cancer. And you feel like you're ready for chemotherapy. Come on, or somebody on the next set of chemotherapy at death. But you will not die unless God permit it. Somebody praise God. You do six, seven chemotherapy. And if God said live, you shall live. You do ten surgery. And if God said live, you shall live. Somebody wave your hand under this tent and say the devil said dead. But I shall live and declare the works of the Lord. Amen. 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 That means seal and sign. Lord God Almighty, I five your neighbor, say neighbor. My living is seal and sign. Lord God, my living is approved. Come on, oh somebody. Lord God, they wish that you die. Lord God Almighty, they wish that you turn cross. They wish that you turn to fake. Ah God, but God has canceled that. Somebody do like this, cancel. Cancel. Hallelujah. Church of God. So the devil has placed us in a position of guilt 
oppression, depression, anxiety, sickness, and unhappiness. And say there's nothing beyond this that would speak to betterment or happiness. That is what the Bible calls a stronghold. But God has given us power. Jesus Christ. Don't leave me no church. God has given us power to pull down strongholds. And tonight, we are going to break the chains that have people spiritually bound. For that to happen, we must need see and know. Secondly, the power of God's deliverance for captives. So if we have identified the captives and captivity, let's see the power of God's deliverance for captives. The power of God's deliverance for captives is often described, Bishop Robinson, Bishop Pastors, as a transformative and liberating force. Can I say that again? The power of God's deliverance for captives is often described as a transformative and liberating force offering freedom from bondage, both spiritually and metaphorically. Am I talking to the church? It's a source of hope. It's a source of healing. And it's a source of redemption. For those seeking release from, their va from various forms of captivity or challenges in their lives. Am I talking to the church? Watch this now. In Matthew 12, 29, Jesus says, Or else, how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house? Somebody praise God. I wonder if you're preaching with me. The above scripture quoted was spoken by Jesus to the Pharisees when they accused him of casting out devil through the power of the devil. Let us note the following from this passage. One, he said you cannot overcome evil with evil. Satan can't fight against Satan. Somebody praise God. Two, it will take a greater power to deliver someone that is in captivity. Somebody praise God. And three, pulling from the same verse. A strong man is someone that is able to incapacitate another one as explained in the introductory part of this. Somebody praise God. Above all, the person in captivity must be willing to be delivered. The person in captivity must be willing to be delivered. Must be willing to be set freed or liberated from captivity. Therefore, if the person in captivity is unwilling or still pursuing the same course or pretends to be free when he's not or unwilling to accept the truth about his position, then his deliverance from captivity would take a little longer and would depend on the mercies of Almighty God. Somebody praise God. Am I talking to the church? I'm coming to you very plain tonight. Now church, once the person in captivity has decided that he needs freedom, the next question is, who can deliver him? From the powers that put him in captivity. Somebody praise God. There are several instances in the Bible. Where Jesus Christ demonstrated power. Over any form of captivity. Somebody praise God. Be it sickness, demons, poverty, long time sickness. Etc. Etc. Somebody praise God. Several times. Jesus Christ demonstrated mercy and grace towards mankind. His grace is still sufficient and available today. Watch this. 
The prophet in Isaiah 49, 24 to 26 says, The Almighty God himself declared that he will deliver you irrespective of who puts you into the captivity. God, can I preach down a Lucy? Lucy, you're going like you're not used to preaching with them high-firing women of God and men of God. Come on, somebody. The Almighty God himself, not Gabriel, not Michael, no other being but Almighty God declared, he said it, that he will deliver you irrespective of who puts you in the captivity. Irrespective of the circumstances that brought you there and not minding the time you might have spent oh God in captivity. He said he will deliver you. Likewise, God the Holy Spirit has the power and ability to deliver any one of us from any form of captivity. Somebody praise God. Am I touching whom? Am I touching whom? In the book of Exodus, come in, in our church of God, we see the children of Israel. Somebody praise God. Down in Egypt, held in captivity. Somebody praise God. They were held by the oppressor, the afflictor, Lord God Almighty, by one whose character can be aligned to that of the devil. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Thank you, ma'am. No wonder you're my friend's mother. God the deliverer identified Moses. Somebody praise God. Somebody worship the name of the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, I said the children of Israel being in captivity. Come on with me, church of God. Held by the oppressor, Pharaoh. Somebody praise God. Am I talking to the church of the living God? Oh, you better worship with me, somebody. They were long held, long in captivity. Despite the fact that they multiplied in Egypt. Come on, somebody. Although they were multiplying in Egypt, Lord God, the fact still remain. They were in captivity. Come on, somebody. It doesn't matter how you want to multiply. Come on, somebody. Under captivity or as a captive, you're still a captive. You're still in bondage until you come out, until you see a way out, until you walk out. You will not have any true sense of freedom. You will not enjoy Lord God, the increase or the abundance. Am I talking to the church? He said the more Pharaoh and the oppressors of Egypt applied pressure on the righteous. He said they multiplied. You see, there are some people who are expecting us. Let me come home to the church for five minutes. They are expecting the righteous to crumble under pressure. There are some wicked boss and pastors. There are some wicked manager and manageress. There are some wicked CEO and CEQ. Come on, to somebody, supervisor and supervised dress. Somebody praise God. There are some wicked principal and principal. Somebody praise God. There are some wicked headmasters and HODs. Lord God, superintendents and commissioners. Somebody pray. me man. Somebody praise God. There are some terrible ungodly. Lord God, supervisors, people who hold big position, and because you're a part of the ransom church of God, they say they're going to pressure you, so you lose the work, or you quit the job, but they can't allow you to quit, because they never hire you, you can only fire who you hire, somebody praise God, I preach me a preacher, every wicked principal, every wicked supervisor, every wicked commissioner, assistant or deputy, superintendent, Lord God, some of you afraid like puss, but me not afraid again, somebody praise God, a radical, me get radical, from me run out the police force, a radical, me get radical, somebody praise God, 
you have some wicked supervisor in a divorce, a devil from hell them, because if they can oppress you, a holy power oppression may go through you know, Lord God, because we are true blue, no nonsense, lick out pan chichi man, lick out pan voodoo, lick out pan lodge, lick out pan free mace, me hold down this up in long, but come on somebody, you hold me down this up in long, but I can't make a no, me out of your large room, me out of your voodoo station, somebody let me preach in this house, me out of your chichi man corner, so that you can go on with your chichi life, go on with your voodoo life, go on with your black mesa life, somebody you afraid. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody you not pray for me. You know? Somebody you not pray for me. Pray for me here tonight. I don't care which area you're serving in. Lord God, which organization or department you're a part of. If the manager, supervisor, are those above you are oppressors, afflictors, Lord God, haters of the righteous. Come on, somebody walk in at the office and say the blood walk through and dab the blood and say you can't kill the anointed for no weapon that is formed. You know, I'm a preaching and losing. I come me, I come through, you know. Somebody praise God, pray for me, pray for me. Evil must die, wickedness must die. Stop holding the righteous. Some of you more than qualified. Some of you more than qualified. But because you're born again, because you're true blue, tongue talking, radical, lick out against boogering, lick out against lesbianism. Look out against unrighteousness. You hold on. But tonight, every spirit, every bad mind, boss me, boss me, boss me tonight. Somebody praise God. That hold you down. Hold your back. Release. Release. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Say neighbor. A wicked them. Them are kin teeth with you. But a wicked them. See the wicked them a galang day. See the wicked them a galang day. Somebody praise God. See the wicked them a galang day. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. You know what me preach down here? You know what the radical man preach down here? Somebody says, see the wicked them there. See the fear of them there. See the Goliath them there. See the Jezebel them there. Them dress up like woe. But them are wicked. They are holding you in captivity. They are restricting you. They are limiting you. Come on, somebody from progressing. But tonight, there's deliverance. I say in this year, somebody point your hand and say, prophesy, preacher. I don't come as a prophet. I say it's not a prophet. The true me shoes look pretty. But me are no prophet. Me a preacher. Somebody praise God. But I feel the gift of prophecy. Say prophesy. Say prophesy. Say neighbor. In this year, there shall be deliverance in every area of your life, of your family life. I declare it in January, in February, in March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, right to December. God. Deliverance, financial deliverance, Lord God, spiritual deliverance, Lord God's oh, healing. Somebody, somebody, a fever. 
Pakundi Bianda, Lindi Kimbundo, Shindi by Kasuda Baha. Somebody release me. Should 
of Israel after several signs and demonstration of the power of God through Moses Pharaoh finally gave up I get a revelation say neighbor right now there's a Pharaoh in Lucy that is being cornered anything but let go. Somebody say let go fear. Let go the righteous. Let go God pick me. Let go my job. Let go what belongs and pertain to me. Moses led the people out of Egypt, out of captivity. Right up to the place. The Red Sea. And they said, Moses, it's better you have allowed us to die because there are many graves, more lands that you could have been buried there. But Moses says, They said, Moses, the Egyptians are upon us. Moses says, Stand still and see the deliverance of the Lord for the Egyptian. You see today, tomorrow, somebody praise God. Say, Today was the last time you saw your enemy alive. Because they touch the wrong man. Touch the tomorrow. Somebody said tomorrow. Say tomorrow. Shall surely bury the enemy. Somebody wave your hand and praise God. Let me bring it home. the children of Israel were delivered straight through the Red Sea that was parted, divided and they cross over and dry land. Church, the identification of captivity we have looked at. We have seen the power of God's deliverance for those in captivity and finally there's a personal deliverance from captivity. Somebody, so we have identified the captivity. We have seen the power of God for deliverance for those in captivity. But we can now look at the personal deliverance. It is a personal thing. Personal deliverance from captivity typically refers to an individual's experience of being freed from a challenging or oppressive situation. This could include pastors overcoming physical, emotional, spiritual, or even psychological constraints. It often involves a process of liberation, self-discovery, and resilience where the person finds a way to break free from the constraints that held them captive. There's a way tonight that you, my unsafe friends, can choose. And this way, come on, is the only way. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He can break you free from the constraints that held you captive. Church, as I bring it home, the journey may involve inner strength, external support and transformational shift in mindset or circumstances leading to a sense of liberation or newfound freedom. May I ask at this point, 
Are you ready to be delivered? From the present constraints. From the captivity and hell's grip. Will you personally step out and declare. Liberate me O Lord. From this captivity. Liberate me O Lord. From this constraint. Liberate me O Lord. From this limitation, from these restrictions, from these things that are holding me, holding me back from experiencing my full worth and value. Are you ready for your own deliverance? You have to say, I am ready. It's a personal thing. Joseph was sold into slavery by his brothers, but later rose to a position of power in Egypt, experiencing deliverance from his initial captivity. His brothers placed him in captivity. Remember I said, there are times and persons can be placed in captivity by another. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These three men were delivered from the fiery furnace after refusing to bow down to the golden image as recounted in the book of Daniel. Peter, he was miraculously released from prison with the help of an angel as we see in the book of Acts chapter 12. From captivity, from bondage, from imprisonment. Come on, anything is possible whilst Christ is in the vessel. Smile at any stone. Tonight, I read and I want to close on a reference scripture. Acts chapter 8. Somebody says, Simon. Uh, can I come home on it, Bishop Robinson? Can I come home? Somebody praise God. Uh, my worthy supporting pastors. Can I come home on that text? Somebody praise God. He said, and there was a man whose name was Simon. A certain man called Simon. Which before time, the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria. Giving out that himself was someone great. Come on, somebody. It says the people gave heed to his uh, requests or demands. His offerings from the least to the greatest. Saying, this man is, has great power. Is the great power of God. Come on somebody. So even the people who looked to Simon... They were in captivity because he controlled their mind. That they were able to say, This man has the power of God. Somebody praise God. He said they had great regard and respect for him because that of long time he had bewitched them with sorceries. Somebody says, Sorcery. But when they believed Philip preaching. Somebody praise God. And as Philip preached about the kingdom of God, somebody praise God. He preached the name of Jesus Christ. He said they were baptized, both men and women. When we preach Jesus Christ and the kingdom of God men shall be saved 
and be baptized. But we must preach Jesus Christ. Any other doctrine apart from Jesus' doctrine is a false and fabricated doctrine. Come on, somebody far from the truth. But Philip the evangelist, we need some more evangelists. Too much prophets. Evangelists who will preach the kingdom of God. Who will preach Jesus Christ. And not money and riches fame. Clothes and seeds sowing. You don't like me now. We need evangelists. Like Philip. Luke. And others. No longer we see the fivefold ministries being demonstrated in the church. We only see two apostles and prophets. Where's the teacher? Where's the pastor? Seems like we're the only preachers, evangelists, teachers are left. Everybody put on pretty coat, long boat, wrap themselves in a whole kind of cloth. And call themselves all kind of something with phone screen before them chatting all kind of foolishness and then they put up sow me a seed the devil is a liar preach Jesus again tell man that hell is real I won't get any more likes and share Give me the old time religion. Oh, I love the New Testament church of God. Give me the old time religion. Just good enough for Paul and Silas. It's good enough for me. Philip, preach Jesus. Preach Jesus to the sorcerer. Come on, let's preach the kingdom of God to the people who were held captive in their minds by the works of sorcery. They are so, oh God, I'm going to touch down now, you know. Come on, somebody help me here. Somebody praise God. May I apply to our contemporary era, to our present locality, that there are people around, even today, who are held captive by sorcery. Witchcraft, voodoo, wearing big rings with ornaments. Church gone, left me now. Pray for me, pray for me, pray for me, Spalin, pray for me. Ribiki Tura Bahando, the Kataya, Mombi, pray for Kunda, Satoria Bahaya, somebody praise God. People today are looking to Simon. Lucy Simon the church come for Lucy Hotel Lucy Jesus Christ somebody pray for me somebody pray for me somebody pray for me somebody pray for me I done me I done in our reverend Bishop Jojo I done me I done somebody shout hallelujah hallelujah the church and sorcerer can't survive in the same city and the church will not close down the church will not shut up but Simon of the lock up shop Lord God every flag every apparition Lord God Almighty that seek to hold the minds of the people captive in ungodliness and unrighteousness we march Lord God Almighty with the word of God in our heart and the sword in our hand and we march down in a Simon zone Jesus Christ I want back up I want back up somebody pray for me somebody pray for me somebody pray for me somebody pray for me pray for me over here somebody pray for me somebody pray for me oh hallelujah somebody pray God somebody worship God 
somebody praise God. Every works of Simon, we take you down tonight. Every pundika, Lord God, Black River woman, we say every pundika. Lord God, we take them down. Every black magic in Lucy, we take you down. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. We come tonight to tell Simon the sorcerer, you have held many captive for years. But we come and as even as an evangelist, we come under the anointing. We come under the utterance and the authority of the Holy Ghost. Ah, Jesus said unto the 70 in St. Luke chapter 10, he said, Behold, I give you power to tread upon serpents, scorpions, and everything. Lord God Almighty, somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Simon. 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 Sarsara. Warrior worker. Witchcraft devil. Somebody praise God. Witch and warlock. Your time up. Pull up your flag. Pull up your bat, take up your quad buckle, hold your candle, tear up your book, drop up your pencil, mash up your skull head. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. We tear down your heart through. We bust up every vial. Somebody praise God. Deliverance for the captives. We tear up every parchment. We broke up every nail. Jesus Christ, our kind of something this, our kind of something this. Somebody pray for me. Somebody pray for me. Somebody pray for me. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Simon! Simon! Your time up. The evangelists come to preach you out of town. Or preach you to Jesus. Drop your rope, drop your chain, your rolling calf chain, your bad bull chain. Lord God, somebody praise God. Every frog, we kill it. Every black puss, we kill it. Every snake over there, we kill it. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Every mongoose, we kill it. Every padlock, we broke it. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Every white powder we mash you up. Somebody praise God. Lord God, Bishop Robert, troubling a Lucy tonight. We say we come uh, to release captives. We come to release uh, all those who are under. Uh, Lord God, the influence uh, of Simon. Simon, uh, your time up. Uh, pack up. Uh, Pack up the blood of Jesus. Jesus Christ cover me, church. Shaka Bandoria. Limando de Kessinda. Undi by Kuturia. Ribiando. Kabondai. Labush Kabuna. To Brickamatoria. Sabai Kamonia. Libande. Kebosa. Lacune. Kendobra. Macribai, Selusi, Kibuda, Sakodan, Debainku, Hundibi, Kubuturia, Sebaskamai, Tokrima, Sendaya, Libundi, Sekuta, Sabayo, Simon, Simon, we sweep you out, Simon, we wash you out, Simon. We turn you out, Simon. We brush you out, Simon. We send the blood. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Aye. Reverend Malando God, come here. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. 
Aleluia, 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 aleluia. Somebody show glory, show glory, show glory, glory, glory. We mash up every blood letting, blood sucking, blood sacrificing demon of Lucy. We mash you up, we cut you down, we tear you down. Oh, yeah. Deliverance, deliverance, hey. pastors, deliverance, 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 deliverance. Come church, deliverance, deliverance, young boy, deliverance, scammer, deliverance, chopper, deliverance, murder, deliverance, rapist, deliverance. Lord God Almighty, somebody praise God. Come pastors, a, a new testament we come from you. Know. We know how to work one another fight back. Help me new testament pastors. Ba 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 boom boom ship it Somebody praise God. A kind of Simon tonight. And I declare that the Lord is our light. And our salvation. Ooh. Come on, church. Whom shall we fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the Simon, when sorcerer, when wicked people come upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumble and fall. But to one host, Somebody shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, shout, shuku, rubu, deliverance, deliverance, Simon, Simon, pack up business, take down your flag, come out of town, let go the young girl, let go the young boy, let go the marriage, take down your table, on your stool. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody worship. Somebody praise God. We take on every bottle of water, every quart bottle, every leaf of life. Lord God, shout hallelujah. Send deliverance. Send deliverance. Send deliverance. Send deliverance. Somebody say deliverance. Deliverance. Deliverance, deliverance, Simon, 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 repent, 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 Cinnamon, repent, rapist, repent, backslider, repent, Wobia worker, repent. I am giving you a wine. A new day is coming. I am giving you a wine. The mighty man of Somebody shout, somebody shout. 
tonight. If I, if I were you tonight and in your position of not knowing Jesus Christ, Bishop Robinson, with a message like this, I would have to run and say, here am I to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you are my God. What will you do with Jesus tonight? I give you Jesus. I give you Jesus the deliverer. Jesus the chain breaker. The prison door opener. Come tonight. Today is the day of salvation. Hard not your heart. Stiff not your neck. For if you do so, Tonight, remedy is available for your sin sick soul. And it is the blood of Jesus. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious. It's thy flow that makes me white as snow. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's land. Somebody tonight. Why delay? Why turn him away? Today is the day of salvation. Hear his voice. Hard not your heart. For if you so do, you'll be cut off. It's time to go to remedy. The water is troubled. Step right in. Under the cross of Jesus. Over 20 plus years ago, I said yes. And I haven't found any fault in him. You too can say yes. And experience more blessings from a light to God. When you have tried and tried and tried many things and you haven't tried Jesus. You are still bound for failure. But when you have tried Jesus you can say I found a friend in Jesus he's everything to me he's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul in sorrow he's my comfort in trouble he's my stay I give you Jesus tonight take him tonight I preach the kingdom like Philip the kingdom of God. I preach Jesus Christ like the kingdom of God. I do not preach riches, fame, and popularity. I do not preach another gospel than the gospel. It's a woe to that man who preach another gospel. Come on, somebody. 
preach Jesus. That's what we, that's the one we offer tonight. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. Matthew 21, 1 says, Matthew 1, 21 says, She shall bear a son. Thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people. For whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord, says Apostle Paul, shall be saved. Peter preached the message. And the people said they believed because their hearts were pricked. They said, Peter, since we believe, what then shall we do? Peter said, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission, the removal, the pardoning of your sin. Come tonight. The door is open. Will you step in? Or will you wait until the door is closed? If I were you, I would step right in. Before you die, seek the Lord. Bow your heads. Gracious, eternal God and Father, we're most grateful for tonight. Oh God, the spoken word. Thank you, Lord, for Bishop Williams and the team here down in Hanover. Lord God, for two weeks plus, they have been plundering. They have been, oh God, preaching. They have been wailing the gospel. They have been laboring. They have been calling. And tonight is another night. There's a response, oh God. Persons have responded to the call, to the invitation. But there's much more. To respond into the invitation. They need to respond to the call for salvation. I pray that you'll touch somebody tonight. Rescue the perishing. Care for the dying. Snatch them from hell, sin and the grave. Let somebody right there who is standing. Experience you as Lord and Savior. Break down every idol. Cast out every foe. Lord, wash them tonight. Wash them in your blood. And they shall be whiter than snow. Cleanse tonight, God. Purify. Set them free tonight. They may be held captive by the devil who is residing in their minds. But I pray, God, that they will chase the devil out of their minds. And give you full access. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, take full and complete control tonight. Let somebody cry out, Lord, I've felt your touch, I've heard your voice, and I'm coming home. Hear, O oh Lord, wandering, O oh God, weak and helpless people who need you as their support, who need you as their defense and their savior. Come now, O oh Savior. Save to the utmost. Deliverance. 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 Somebody must cry out tonight. I'm healed. I'm healed. I can't hold it no longer. Breakthrough for somebody tonight. Cast asunder. Oh God Almighty. Let them kill the old Adamic nature. Let them slay the old man devil. Let them deny flesh and the world and come to you as Lord and Savior. Touch tonight, pass through the altar with your big, powerful, and mighty hands and rest it upon every person that they will feel the transformative power. In the name of Jesus Christ, save somebody tonight. Save a young man tonight. Save a young woman tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We thank you for the touch. We thank you for the deliverance. Thank you that somebody is getting ready for baptism. Somebody tonight is going home with you. Thanks for the deliverance. Thanks for the salvation. Thanks for the response. To follow you as Lord and Savior. In Jesus name. 
Say after me at the altar, dear God, I'm a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. Cleanse me. Wash me. Purify my heart. Lord, I pray for your forgiveness. Enter into my heart and live with me. I give you my heart. I give you my mind. I give you my whole being. Take me as I am. My only plea, you died for me. Thanks for your touch. Thanks for your deliverance. Thanks for saving me. Amen. You having heard the message, the appeal, the prayer, everything was done. You just need to do something about your soul. Since you have heard the message, what will you do? Will you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? If you'll accept him as your Lord and Savior, would you raise that hand? Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Deliverance for the captives tonight. I'm feeling proud of you and I know you're feeling proud of yourself. What privilege you have tonight. What right you have tonight. Having raised your hands. An opportunity that you're going to be coming to stand beside the preacher because you have said yes. You have said yes. You have raised your hand and you're willing to serve God. Come and stand beside this preacher tonight. Come. Oh. 
Onward saying, I've made a full and true commitment to Christ. Touch the mind, the heart, the will, and the desires that He will seek you and find you. Lord, whatever the issues, the conditions, the situations are, let it come to that full place of realization that you are Lord, holy, and righteous, mighty deliverer. Thanks for your touch, thanks for your deliverance. Jesus. Lucy, thank you for having me. Put your hands together for two, four, six, eight, ten of them. Come on, put your hands together for what God has done here tonight. Father, we thank you for these souls. We pray that you'll keep them, you'll preserve them. Provide for them and open doors for them that they will never feel disappointed that they have answered your call. Hold them in the hollow of your hands. And give them strength for the journey. In Jesus' name. Anybody ready for baptism tonight? The pastor will talk to you tonight. Put your hands together for everybody. Hallelujah. Lucy, until we meet again. Thanks for having me. Good night. Good night. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Put your hands again together for these on the altar. God richly bless every one of you. The very best decision you could make in life. You've made it tonight to serve the Lord. Can I tell you, you will never ever regret serving Jesus. Nobody has ever served Jesus and regret. God bless you. The Bible says that the angels in heaven rejoice over one soul that repents than over 90 and 9 people who don't need repentance. So right now, angels are rejoicing over you. Put your hands again together for them. I want to encourage you to serve the Lord. Serve the Lord. Some of you are going to be have friends, or friends some friends are going to be telling you, boy, all sorts of things while you're coming, coming to the church. And they will tell you you can't make it. The devil will begin to whisper in your ears. But remember, this decision you have made, God is with you and by your side. You will not be sorry. I encourage you to pray when you go home. Pray. Just talk to God. Just talk to God. I heard you talking to God at the altar tonight. Just continue to talk to God. That's all he wants. You don't have to have any special words and special anything. You understand? Reason with the Lord. And the Lord bless you. I'm going to be inviting you all back tomorrow. Hallelujah. Uh, Sister Clark, one minute please. We'll, we'll soon be leaving. Just come here, Sister Clark. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where you going, boss? Hey, son, come man. Come man. Don't, 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 don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't run, man. Don't run at all. What time we can meet with them tomorrow? Hmm. Okay, can you, if you set a time, say 6 o'clock, will that be okay? Can you meet with this lady at 6 o'clock tomorrow evening? She will give you some more instructions and encouragement as, how, as to how you can make it. You understand? Teach the ways of God and teach the things of God. Can you meet with her at 6 o'clock tomorrow evening? Right here. Right, right here under the tent. Six o'clock tomorrow. Evening. All right. You could make it six o'clock tomorrow. Yes, man. All right. And um, she's going to take your name and your number now before you go so we can pray for you and keep in touch with you. So just go right across there. Give her your name and number. 
so we can keep in touch with you and to pray for you. Yes, you are going to make it in Jesus' name. Come here, my virgin. Listen, man. Don't, be, don't worry about what you're afraid. Yes, you can go. Yeah, go right, go right there to Sister Clark. Don't worry about what your friends will say. Your friends will say anything to discourage you and to make you don't go into heaven. And if you end up in hell, they can't say anything to take you out. Every man has to stand before God for himself. You have to answer to God for yourself. You can't tell God, say, our friends, it is friends that won't help you. Listen, my man, serve God. You hear me, sir? Serve God. One step at a time. One day at a time. Serve God. Bless you. Make sure you get your name and number so we could talk. Somebody praise the Lord here tonight. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout the hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, remember the preacher tonight. Go with him. May your presence all go with him. God, God, God the Father, touch him. Give him a safe journey home now. In Jesus' name, amen. Brothers and sisters, we come back tomorrow evening. Hallelujah to continue. To continue crusade tomorrow night. We come back to magnify the name of the Lord. We'll be here until Friday night. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise him. Just sing that benediction and take us out. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you. Be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. The Lord, the Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine.